Hello, Year 3 order, and welcome back to our next maths lesson. Uh, we're going to continue um, recapping some of those things we've worked on throughout the year. Uh, last lesson we did addition with regrouping, and we're going to do another lesson on that today, just to make, we're make sure we're really secure with that concept. As always, I'm going to share my screen, so bear with me one moment. There we go. Um, as a starter today, a very similar starter to last time, fill in the blanks that you can see for question one. So there are blank ones in 110, and there are blank tens in 100s. And then for the second one, true or false, there are 14 tens in the number 140. And for that one, you'll have to explain your answer. If you want to pause there to give you a chance to write down your answer or formulate your answer, please do so, and we'll go through together in just a moment. We will come back together there. Um, the first one, there are 10 ones in 110, is what you should have had, and there are 10 tens in 100. It's good for us to keep recapping on that, and it helps us with that regrouping in adding and subtracting. True or false, there are 14 tens in the number 140. As long as you've justified your answer, you could argue true or false. Usually we would do 100, four tens, and zero ones to make 140. But 14 tens could be regrouped into um, one extra hundred and four tens. So it is just a different way of showing it before that regrouping has taken place. Let's move on. So as I said today, we're gonna to continue focusing on adding with regrouping. Uh, continuing to add three digit numbers. I've got an, got an example on the board for us to start with today. And it says 522 plus 219. Now we've got the same questions on the right hand side today because it's good for us to keep going back to make sure we're recognizing why it's adding, how we lay it out, and what's the difficult column. So this one's nice and simple. We know it's adding because there is an add symbol just here. And that is our clue for this one. Um, how do I lay it out? We're going to continue practicing the column method today with a pictorial representation next to it. Maybe you can work out which column is a difficult one. Have a quick look. Now, I think the difficult column is going to be that ones column. So we have two ones in 522 and nine ones in 219, which is going to be a lot of ones in that ones column. But let's have a good look together. If you'd like to pause it, first of all, please feel free to do so and you can have a go. Otherwise, we're going to plow on through and we're going to have a go together. So I've laid it out like a column method. I've lined up my hundreds, I've lined up my tens, I've lined up my ones. Now, I wonder if you can remember, do we start with our hundreds, do we start with our tens, or do we start with our ones? Well done if you said we start with our ones. That's where we've got to start to allow us to do that tricky regrouping that might come up. So I have two orange ones to represent the two ones in 522. I have nine blue ones to represent the nine ones in 219. Now, some of you, if you're particularly eagle-eyed, might have spotted that there are already too many ones in there. Two plus nine makes 11. I can't write 11 in my ones column, so I've got to do something with them. wonder if you can remember what we need to do. Well done if you said regrouping or regroup 10 ones into one extra 10. So I'm circling my 10 ones. I'm drawing an arrow to show that that makes one extra 10. Now I've been left with one one in my ones column. So I'm gonna write a one in my ones column and I've made an extra 10. So just below my tens column, I'm gonna do a very small one there. So I know I need to add one more 10. Now moving on to the tens column, we have two orange tens to represent these two tens in 522. And we have one blue 10 to represent this 10 in 219. But also remember we've got that extra 10 now. So it's two plus one plus an extra one, which is one, two, three, four tens in total. So I'm gonna write that number four just here. And lastly, onto my hundreds. I have five orange hundreds to represent this 500 here and two blue hundreds to represent this 100 here. There is no regrouping involved with this bit. It's just simply five plus two, which makes seven. And my answer was 741. Well done if you got that. Let's look at another example together. This one's a word problem. And it says, there are 544 stamps in one box and another 365 in the other box. How many are there all together? Now, we know this is probably gonna be an addition question because we're adding today and that's our focus. How do we know for sure that this word problem involves adding? What words perhaps tell you that? Have a think about that. 
And again, have a think about how I lay this out or how we will lay this out and what's the difficult column here. Now, the first question, am I adding or subtracting? I'm thinking that word all together is really important because if we're putting things together, we're usually adding them. I'm also thinking that there's 544 in one box and another 365 in another box. So we've got two boxes. If we want to work out the total, we've got to add those numbers together as well. Let's have a look at how we can do that. So once again, I've laid it out like a column method. I've lined up my hundreds, I've lined up my tens, I've lined up my ones. And I've got my picture next to it again. Now, we start with the ones, I remember that from last time. And I've got four orange ones to represent my four ones here. And five blue ones to represent my five ones from here. I know nice and simply that five plus four is equal to nine. So I'm gonna put a nine in my ones column. Next one, I've got four orange tens to represent these tens here, and six blue tens to represent these ones here. Four plus six, that's two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, that's too many tens. I can't write ten tens in this column. What do I need to do? I wonder if you know. Well done if you said we need to regroup ten tens into one hundreds. I'm going to circle all ten of them. I'm going to draw an arrow, and I'm going to make one extra hundreds. That means I've got zero tens left over. So I'm going to put a zero in my tens column, but I've made one extra hundred, which I've shown down here and with my little one here. Finally, five plus three, that makes eight. But I'm not going to write eight in here because I've got that extra hundred as well. So it's nine in total. So my answer is 909 stamps altogether. Once again, well done if you managed to do that, particularly with that tricky regrouping. Let's move on. Um, for your practice, I've got uh, two questions that I'd like you to have a go at. The first one, 213 plus 138. We know we're adding because the symbol there tells us that. Second one's a bit of a problem solving one. Tom says you can't solve 237 plus 235 because there are too many ones. Well, I can see what he means. There's seven ones plus five ones. That's gonna be more than 10. I wonder if we still could solve it. What do you think? Maybe have a go yourself. As always, if you'd like to pause it here, please feel free to do so, and we'll come back together and go through those in a moment's time. <clears throat> Let's look at those questions together. So 213 plus 138. The answer is 351. My tricky column was my ones. Three plus eight gives me 11 ones. I couldn't write 11 here, so I regrouped 10 of them into one extra 10, which is why I've got this 10 here. Then I did one plus three plus an extra one to make five. Two plus one to make three. 351 was our answer. Next one, Tom is not correct. Um, we can do seven ones plus five ones, which is 12 ones, but we just need to do some regrouping afterwards. So we can regroup this into one extra 10 and two ones. So well done if you had a similar thought or a similar explanation to explain that to Tom, because we can definitely still solve that. Moving on to the challenge, I have some questions for you to solve again. Uh, number one, 431 plus 381. Can you use that column method to solve it? This one, I flipped it round, but it's much the same. 431 plus 139. Next one, I've got a word problem. Mr. Fuss spends 236 pounds on a carpet, 571 pounds on a bed. How much does he spend in total? And I'll be thinking ahead to that tricky column as well. And finally, can you create and solve your own word problem? Maybe you can write one that links to addition using that language to show that it's addition. Um, if you want a challenge X, can you choose one question and write a set of instructions on how to solve it? Maybe you're gonna have to break it down step by step how that question will be solved. <clears throat> Once again, please pause the video there and we will go through those questions in a moment's time. Now, I'm not gonna go through the method for each of these questions as we won't have time to do so. But if you need a bit of extra practice to work out these answers, feel free to go back further in the video and look back at those column methods. So the first one, 431 plus 381 should be 812. The tens column was the tricky one here. Three tens plus eight tens gives you 11 tens, which is too many. So we regrouped into one 10 and um, one extra, those 10 tens made one extra hundred. 
Next one, 570 is the answer to 431 plus 139. For this one, it was our ones that was the tricky one. One, one plus nine ones equals 10 ones. And we know that 10 ones make one 10, which is why there are zero ones here. We've created an extra 10 in our tens column. And last one, Mustafa spends 807 pounds in total. Once again, the tricky one here was our tens. Three tens plus seven tens equals 10 tens. I regroup 10 tens into one extra hundred, which is why there's zero tens in my number here. And there has been an extra hundred there. Well done if you didn't get those. Or well done if you did get those. If you didn't get those, perhaps you could have another go at those questions now to show that resilience, show that perseverance. And um, because it doesn't matter if we get one of them wrong or a few of them wrong, we can keep going with that learning. Thank you for listening, Year 3 Order. Once again, I look forward to seeing your wonderful, wonderful learning that hopefully you will send in to the email address. Thanks for listening and see you next time. Bye.